Hello everyone. Welcome back to your own channel that is Learn English with Priyanka. So, I have a very good news for you people. Yes. Welcome back to another important update. Yes. Today I will be discussing something that has been on every board student's mind that is the evaluation process for maths paper yes maths exam evaluation process this is what i'll discuss in this video every year students worry about whether the marking will be lenient or strict especially when a paper is difficult this year i have received insider updates from the coordinator meeting held in delhi and i must say the news is quiet encouraging especially for those concerned about their passing status yes passing status agar baat kare to just remember that many students found the maths paper to be pretty challenging and naturally there is an anxiety about how it will be checked but here is some good news so the marking scheme has been adjusted to ensure fairness from what i have gathered no student yes no student will fail simply because the paper was tough if you have managed to score at least 10 marks that i think everyone will be able to do so you will pass definitely in mathematics exam So this decision ensures that students who attempted the paper with some level of accuracy are given a fair chance. So if you were worried about failing due to the difficulty level, you can breathe a little easier. Oof. Right? So now talking about English. Before moving ahead, I would like to request all of you to like this video. subscribe to the channel and most importantly comment below because your comments help in creating discussions and they also encourage others to engage i make sure to read your feedback and if you have any doubts i try to address them in my next video so don't hesitate to comment anything comment anything you feel about the exams the evaluation process and any questions you have now coming to english paper evaluation yes class 12th english literature as well as language is already under checking yes class 10th english papers are also being evaluated As per previous trends, ICSC usually starts the correction process eighteen to twenty days after the exam. I will keep updating you on which subjects, like which subjects are being checked and how the marking is going. Now let's talk about how is English marking going. So literature. In literature, I'll first begin with literature. Students are scoring very well. If you have attempted full paper, you are likely to get high marks because spelling errors don't lead to deductions, and grammar mistakes are rarely penalized. So, in literature, you can score really good marks, and in fact, students are securing. Talking about language, marking is a bit stricter. Deduction happens for grammar and spelling mistakes, but even here. students are scoring really well overall score is pretty well so far the highest score are between 95 to 98 but no one has received a perfect 100 yet now looking at the overall marking pattern for class 12th it is clear that the biggest relief is for maths uh mathematics students right since the paper was a bit difficult the council has ensured that the students are not unfairly penalized they will not be penalized unnecessarily among all the subjects checked so far english has shown the best results in terms of scoring this should be a positive sign for students as the overall marking trend seems to uh, balance and to be fair now talking about grace marks or moderation so 
let's discuss something very important moderation and grace marks grace marks means extra marks so from my experience and based on the trends i have observed over years it is highly likely that maths paper will undergo moderation yes they will not be too strict why does this happen so whenever a paper is usually tough as compared the council applies moderation this means extra marks are awarded to balance the overall performance of the student yes for example i'll take an example to explain you all if mathematics paper had a tougher paper compared to chemistry and physics then additional marks may be given in maths to ensure fairness so this is a common icsc practice this has been happening since many years and students can expect some additional benefits in their final results especially this year so now that's all for today's update but before you leave i want to hear from you how did your maths paper actually go although i have received a lot of comments but are you happy with the marking update do let me know in this video's comment do you think english checking is fair how many of you were expecting full marks in english literature comment below and let me know your comments help me to create a strong student friendly community where we can actually share insights and discuss important issues i personally read all your comments and try to address your concerns in my next video so like this video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe for more updates because only 20% of my students have subscribed till yet now i'll be back with more authentic details on icsc evaluation till then stay positive keep working hard thank you so much bye bye